When I think about being a father, I think about generosity. I think about how generous my father was towards me, how he blessed me when I didn't even ask for it, and how he blessed me when I did not deserve it at all. It amazed me, and I hope that my relationship with my kids will be about generosity. I hope that um, it'll overflow my time, my love, my affections towards them in a way that points them towards our eternal Father and His generosity which overflowed at the cross of Christ. Mary Lou and I wanted our kids to live for eternal things and to have a relationship with God. Being a parent and a father, probably, though we tried not to fail, it was probably through the failures that we taught the most. I remember more than several times when I would blow up over something and have to go back and acknowledge that I had sinned and ask them to forgive me. But it was a real joy to see each of them acknowledge that they had sinned against God and begin that relationship through Him and accepting Christ as their Savior. John MacArthur said that if we don't teach our children to love God, Satan will gladly step in and teach them to hate God. He also said that if all we teach our children are the fun, trivial things in life, that that's all they'll be able to teach their children when they grow up. Being a father to me has been a lot of fun teaching my children the fun, trivial things and experiencing those with them. It's been fun receiving those cute, impractical gifts you get on Father's Day. And it's been a wild roller coaster ride at times as you go through life's ups and downs with them. But the greatest joy I have as a father is being able to watch them grow and mature in their spiritual walk. Being a father to me means having a great privilege and responsibility and to remember my Heavenly Father and the example that He sets for me in my life first, 1 Corinthians 10 31, whether I eat or drink or whatever I do, do for the glory of God. And I remember that as I'm a father to my daughters. Here is an often overlooked verse on parenting. Where no oxen are, the trough is clean, but much increase comes by the strength of an ox. The three oxen in the Lambeth household sometimes bring their share of messes, but they also bring a much greater increase of love, strength, joy, and lots of fun. I'm so thankful that my boys are growing in their love for the Lord and for their mother. I know the best way I can teach them is for me to do the same. What does being a father mean to me? Awesome, incredible blessing, but even bigger stewardship responsibility. To think that I've been entrusted with the earthly training of these four amazing children. If there's anything in life that brings out the fire in me, it's the desire to leave a legacy. A legacy of children who love the Lord and seek to bring Him glory with their lives. To me, being a father is all about sacrifice, and I'm learning more of that each day. And whether it's the small details of you know, changing diapers or helping with the dishes or staying up at night to pray together, these little things you know, could seem to interrupt my daily routine. Maybe I'd rather be playing video games or working on the car, neither of which I suppose are bad. But God calls us to sacrifice, and through being a father, I'm learning more and more the, the blessing and the joy in that sacrifice.